we made it to Saint Paul de Vence. I wanted to check out this place. It's a little bit further away from the sea, from the coast, and we were hoping it wouldn't be as busy. But it's very busy. We had our adventure of looking for a parking spot here for like 20 minutes driving around, but we found one. And now we're off to explore this beautiful village. I've heard that it's absolutely stunning and I can't wait to see it. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful here. Every building is different. It's so pretty. Lots of little shops here. Yeah. Got a couple of dresses and tops. Because I need the whole new wardrobe coming here to Canada. But yeah, I've been working hard on that. <laughs> we found a shop called Atelier Tess. If you're new here, this is my daughter Tessa. She's six and a half. <laughs> so we naturally had to go in and have a look what's inside. That's pretty cool. There's like a wall. It's a really beautiful view and I'm like walking on that wall right now. But look at that. Look at those buildings. How stunning is that? Imagine having that little terrace there. Oh, so romantic. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, streets like this everywhere, so pretty, green, so medieval, beautiful, like things like this everywhere, we've been quite lucky that it's not extremely hot, it will be extremely hot tomorrow, but imagine living there, and waking up, opening your blinds to this view. Oh my goodness, it's stunning! I left the girls with Ollie and I'm looking for a very specific spot here. Um, when you search for Saint Paul de Vence, anywhere on Google, on Instagram, on Pinterest. There's this beautiful house, absolutely covered top to bottom in plants. It's gorgeous and I want to find it and I haven't found it yet. And while looking for that spot, I come across places like this. Like, are you kidding me? I am just in photographer heaven right now. I'm about to find that house, I promise you. Oh my goodness, the streets are absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of people at the end of it. I assume that's where it is. <laughs> and I'm about to ruin a lot of people's photos by walking here. But I regret nothing. I found it. Top to bottom, covered in beautiful greenery. It's so pretty. Wow. So, so beautiful. I'm a sweaty mess because it is a bit warm and sunny, but just walking along those streets, it's so pretty. I can't put my camera down. I just like have it at the ready in every corner. imagine what it must be like to just live in one of those apartments waking up to this wow my solo exploring continues i'm taking every opportunity i can now that ollie's watching the kids and they're having lunch somewhere i haven't eaten anything i'm starving but whatever i'm here on a mission to deliver some beautiful content to you guys Oh my god, the French definitely know how to do the pretty, the stunning, the beautiful, the aesthetic. It's 
Oh my gosh, can you believe this? It's just a little cafe right here. I'm headed back to the car, but couldn't help but stop here for this beautiful view. What a stunning village. Now going back to the car, what a beautiful village. We spent about three hours here. It's not super easy with kids. We've seen as much as we possibly could before they got really, really tired. But I'm really glad we came here. It's definitely worth it. It's busy. I don't think it will be as busy come fall. But right now in the summer, in August, which is, I think July and August are the most, the busiest times here at Côte d'Azur. And people found this village, just like me now. And there's a lot, a lot of people, a lot of visitors. I hope you enjoyed exploring Saint Paul de Vence with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you all again next time.